Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about Stingray workflow trigger in VR. And I'm Kim Fiku, technical manager, media and entertainment, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South China. Today we will introduce flow with white trigger, and there is interface called level flow. We will introduce some flow nodes and connections, and also we will. Show you about some Nook's properties and how to share to your colleague. And be, besides the level flow, there will be a unit editor for the objects. So some flow will be dedicated uh, applied to the objects. In the following, we will prepare an animation with story editor for the foundation F as an exercise. We will uh, apply external event trigger with boolean for the vibe control. And also for the user feedback, we will have a note called highlight to notify the user when they touch the objects. And we will show you how to deploy the VR project too. First of all, we we'll talk about level flow. Level flow is a, a interface that is a virtual visual programming interface. And actually, you no need to write script and and program. What you, all you need to do is call the nodes and connect them together, become a game logic. So here we show you how to use flow as below. Uh, in the top left side, you will have a level flow interface, and you can call the flow nodes by right click the mouse and select in the catalog. Like uh, input with keyboard buttons, you can use this node to connect to your keyboard to press. Some trigger inputs, and also we can set some boolean variable, and those for the um, collision detection for your five control for uh, for the logics, and also there's some like uh, conversion like pneumatic to string. There's it about uh, change your pneumatic number into string to display in the screen or other use. When you press a tab on the keyboard, you can directly type in the level name, and they will have a list of the level nodes for you to call out. So these two ways uh, show you how to uh, call the node on the level flow interface. Then you want you need to you can connect them together with the color with the same nodes. So the node with uh, different properties. Here to show you what's the type of the uh, data input. So uh, there is different with colors. Some is numerical that you can input the numbers and for the calculation. And we have vectors and some is called a unit. I mean you we have a three D unit in the scene. You can call that in as a, as a node. And there is some boolean like true or false, and some mover a rotator. And that to move your objects in the 3D scene, and the dark brown uh, nodes uh, properties is called strings. The string is about some uh, uh, works uh, uh, you can type inside and show to the results. And also event data is about how to uh, enable a node to act, uh, the pro process uh, with the connections. And uh, the flow nodes property actually is a program, but it represents is a graphic mode. So when you copy that uh, nodes, so that then copy them and paste into text uh, editor, you can see all the program inside, and you can edit the program with a text editor. Let me show you how to edit those nodes. Just type a tab and then type a name. Now we can call a timer. When we Press Ctrl C to copy the node and call up a text editor and paste them with Ctrl V. You can see all the component inside. And there's a value about 0 0.03, and we can change it to 0 0.2. Then we can select all and copy. Go back to the Stingray Level 4 interface. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then you can copy the node with different attributes. So uh, when you copy into the text, and you can 
uh, email to your colleague and share the notes uh, or the whole program. Unit Editor Unit Editor is an uh, editor that focus on the 3D objects and you can create your own flow inside the 3D uh, editor with the objects. Here we prepare a uh, uh, cube with bevel and then we connect to the stingray. Then we want to send the objects to the stingray as a uh, feed objects. Then to go to the stingray and you can highlight the object and press the right click open selected in unit editor inside there you can edit the type and so right click on the left column you can add some actors and then you can use the below unit flow to create the same thing like the level flow so the basically those four is uh, used for this object only. So different object can have uh, its own flow and then connect them, then apply those value back to the level flow. All right. So we are going to create a basic scene for VR. Uh, we can call the library template VR scene and then apply a story editor with an animation as a uh, basic uh, examples now you have a uh, pretty scene in here then we new on level um, I'm gonna save some time so that's I go back to the model and go to the room there's a library called a room that I can join drop to the free scene become the background I type in the value on XYZ into zero and paste it in the center and I need some nooks function in the right hand side so we go to the right column create and below that there's a little people there just try and drop on the uh, video scene this one will help you to uh, identify uh, locate the headman device when it start up so I type to uh, 0 minus 5 7.5 on that location then when you play the button then it will um, call your hammer devices over there and I also prepare a object in Maya I want to this cube with texture and shader sent to the stingray scene so we connect them <coughs> and uh, I want to move the object around I, actually I'm linger camera between my and stingray so I move up a little bit and exactly want to place a position inside stingray so I type a minus 2 and then select this object and send to stingray so the cube will be located at minus 2 in the CXX on Stingray, exactly the same position as Maya. Alright, at this moment, I want to have some highlight on the object, so I want to place a light on the top of the object. So go to create and select light, click on the light and click on the face scene and right click to finish it, and then I pull up the light on the top and change the attribute into a spotlight then I adjust the position a little bit rotate to point to the my, my object and position in the better po of the position and I create increase the intensity of the light and also increase the P number and the distance of the light alright ok 
Okay then, let's get back to the cube. Oh, by the meantime, I forget to turn on the shadow, and I can turn on the shadow, and then it look more realistic. Alright, so I now select the object, and then I want to create a story editor to create an animation, and then by the object selected, I just press on the plus button and add it into the story. The story may be confused, so I rename it into stone, and then select the object, press on auto and keyframe, and then according to some time, I type in the rotation in C axis with 360 degrees, and keyframe it. Select the first one and press on the, uh, the line and make it into a linear rotation. Alright, then I want to test on the scene, so I go to level flow and press tab and call the play level story. And then in the story, press on it and I find the stone story and call it out. I want to start it for the testing, so I press on level load and connect the gray events to play, then let make it play when I start it. Alright. Now I want to save the level into a name. So the location will be inside the content, level, and put a name on it. Maybe level 1, save it. So when I want to deploy it, so I go to access browser, find the uh, location called uh, script. All right, and there's uh, Lua. Double click the project to open the text editor. In the line 11, the default is relearning, so we uh, change it to the flow one to make to uh, create the flow one as an uh, output program. The following will be called uh, deploy a menu. First I have to locate the output directory. So I go to the full project and I make a full new folder called output. Press OK and done. And then I put the name on the title. This is actually the program name. Then press on the deploy button. So after finish deploying, I'll get a program in a folder called Flow1. Alright, when I want to uh, turn it on, I just double click it. And then I try to play it, teleport myself. And then the object already rotating because I, when I level loaded, it rotating it automatically. Alright. Okay, uh, in the previous exercise, I do the scene and then deploy the VR with automatic rotate with object. But I want to do furthermore with, uh, I want to apply, I want to do a function called my uh, HZ5 control, touch the object and then start the rotation. So I need some nooks to help for, for this purpose. First of all, is a set boolean and get boolean. Uh, actually, I set a, a flat to um, detect this uh, collision and then set the logic to trigger the rotation. So uh, uh, set boolean with branch nook and also a, a nook called external int event is necessary to do that. And I will apply on the both uh, unit editor and level flow and the purpose is to touch the object to trigger the animation. Let's see what we can do. So in here, first of all, I want to go to, this is the scene that I just done. So I will delete the level loaded. And then I will call up uh, boolean. The boolean will be located 
in the like get boolean variable in the variable uh, category and I will call a branch because the boolean is color is different I want to make it into an event so I need to uh, use the branch now I'm rename the variable into a touch and set into global the global will be let me to access to the unit editor so when I level need a level update to check continue check on the variable so it, when it is true in a bunch I will play the level story with the get the value from the boolean then I go back to the cube and then open the unit editor I already add an actor on it and then uh, open the flow now we get some nodes like uh, external it's called uh, external in the event actually this node is help me to check the wife so I will need to add, uh, type in highlight underscore on it's exactly the same typing that I to active to check the active of the wife and then I will set the boolean so they will set the boolean and then level 4 will get the boolean I need to type in the boolean into true and the name should be the same as touch so it will be a global that my parameter can be sent out to the, the level flow so when it is uh, on it will be true I need to set it and another one is when it is not touch I mean it is off just uh, type in highlight underscore off then the boolean value will be false so that's all I need to do and then don't forget to save your notes so we will save level then play so the object is not rotating because I'm not touching it so when I touch the stone and then leave it and then it will start to play the animation all right so pulling and the uh, events in is used for this tricking trigger all right then I want to do some more so something more is about to uh, I not only touch the object but also I want to trigger by the button with a, by the five control with the trigger button in it so I will need a node called uh, trigger and add together with the boolean so let's see what we can do so in here I go back to the level flow so it worked perfectly but I want to add some more features so I right click to real steam input steam real button and when it detect it is uh, touched then I will be connect to the steam real button and then when I press it will play it so I will select the button it's a trigger that is the button in beneath the controller and also the controller one then save it so let press on the play button and see what happened so when I teleport to my stone so I try to touch it or trigger it individually it's not working all right so I touch and press the trigger then it's work is a play the animation so it's done then I can touch and do something all right and sometimes we don't know did I touch the object or not? So there are some uh, user feedback is necessary to notify the end user that I already touched the object on with uh, some indication. So there's a note called uh, set real set unit highlight. It's actually give a user feedback on the screen to highlight the object. So I go back to the stone and call the unit editor. and go to the flow so this is a when I touch it, it's set the boolean 
and I want to add some more set highlight within. So I right click, go to the project, something called Steam VR set unit highlight. Alright, so let's move down a little bit and then drag it down. Alright, then I go to connect the out into in, highlight it first and then set the boolean and delete the original connection. So the alpha will be on, set to 1. The color is uh, something RGB, you can test it for yourself. With free value. And then enable will be, it will be true. And also uh, effect on this object. So in the unit, I selected my unit. So it will be the same if uh, not touch so I duplicate this highlight and then drag it down and connect to the external event out to the highlight in and then into the set boolean but this one I will enable into false that no highlight will be on then I, I don't touch it so uh, remember to save it right just test again Okay, I'll teleport myself into the stone. So when I want to try to touch it, there's something on the edge is a yellow, right? When I press the trigger button, it's run the animation. So I can have a user feedback and a trigger control. So let's deploy it to see more clearly. So I save the flow and the flow free and go back to the script Lua go to the project double click open the attacks editor in the 11 line change the flow free and then save it and afterwards set the location of the deployer into the output folder and type the name in full free then deploy then I will try to run it in full screen all right go to my stone so when I test on it when I touch it it's highlight if I don't touch it, I trigger it, it won't work. So I touch it and trigger, it's work. Awesome. All right, let's take a look on what we learned today. And first of all, we introduce uh, flow and flow nodes with node and connections. And also we have some property in the notes and know how to share it with copy and paste in the text editor. Each object can use the unit editor to create its own flows and we can use story editor to do simple animation. And we apply external in event boolean for the uh, five touch for the activate the animation or do something. And also, we can use a trigger, uh, wipe button, and the boolean together and touch it and then trigger it with a button. And also, we can do some better uh, user friendly with a feedback highlight object for the user for better experience. You know how to deploy a VR project. That's what we've done today. So, what next? Uh, in the next lesson, uh, we will talk about how to uh, don't don't only use a trigger, but we can walk to an area that uh, the area will detect your headmount devices and auto trigger your device uh, or the trigger or the trigger the animation something like that. All right, that's all for today. See you later. Bye bye.